Okay, here I have a Panasonic Viera Plasma TC42 PC2. And I got the seven blinking lights of death. Turn it on, red LED. One of the things that was in the technical guide was to try to separate this board from the rest of the entire uh, TV to determine if the board is bad. And it said that if I disconnect the SC, the SU, and the SD, and it gave me six blinking lights, and I would have then I know it was this, this SC board was bad. So one of the steps they told me to do in one of the other technical guides was to disconnect the SC board with the SU and the SD to determine if in fact that was the problem. And it only had two points to disconnect. I believe one was just the power supply over here and the other one was the ribbon over here. But since it's not exactly like what was in the technical guide, this guide is a little bit different. So I separated by taking the power, taking the ribbon, and then I took the other power off. I plug it in, and I press the power on button. Six blinking lights. According to the guide, if I separated the SC board and I got six blinking lights, then I knew the SC board was bad. Since I have one board for the SC, SU, and SD board, I know this whole board is bad. I got the six blinking lights, so I'm assuming that this is my culprit right here. And when I get a replacement, and we put it back in, I'll maybe hopefully show you that I was right. And hopefully this will help somebody else. Here's my setup. This is the new board. A few differences I noticed. One being the clamp over here. The color of this uh, heat sink it seems like over here. And that's it. Everything else fit perfectly right where it should. No other problems. Here comes the test. Come back down, push on the power, wait a few seconds, stays on. Take it, took this board, it's out, put the new one in, this fixed the problem, which means there was a problem with the voltage output on the old SN board over there. And that's it. That's how I fix mine. Real quick, I just uh, to test out to make sure that everything is really fully functioning and I plugged everything in correctly and that I didn't screw up plugging in these ribbons over here. I plugged in my Roku box. You see it's the, uh, the same model made in October 2010. I uh, can't get a clear picture. Take my word for it. Same one. Anyway, plugged in the Roku box to see if I can get a video feed. Yeah, turn it on. LED stays red. I want to see that I have the video feed. And here it is. We're in. We're good. Roku's on. Hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Otherwise, you know, I encourage everybody else to do the exact same thing. If you fix a problem, you know how you did it, post it on YouTube, let everybody else know, so no one has to get gypped out of a $500 TV. And that's that.